So following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here where where we checked all all four, and then now we can apply that theorem where where it says that if this thing con uh, diverge, then this will also diverge. If this thing converge, then this thing will converge. So it, it now boils down just to um, to determine whether or not this will diverge or if it will converge. So to determine that, we need to integrate it. So, so now we need to integrate this. So, um, we, we could use substitution, but learn to integrate this by, by, by just glancing at it. So, so visualize this thing here as, as being 1 over x, uh, times, times 1 over square root of, of, uh, of natural log of x. Now, l learn to, um, learn to spot that, well, learn to spot that this thing here is the exact derivative of this. So, um, so let's, well, when when you come to integrate it, learn to spot that um, that this thing here is the exact derivative of this thing here. So in your mind, visualize this. But then, if you tidy this bit up, if you tidy this bit up, what you will have is this. Hang on, natural uh, one over x, and then one over the square root. So that's that's like you doing this. Um, that's like you doing this. Uh, my, uh, one over square root is, is this to the power of minus a half. So so now. Now visualize this in your mind here. So, so natural log here, natural log here. So, so notice that. Um, hang on, let me erase this. Learn, learn to, learn to try and have this, this image in your mind. So when you see this, learn to have this image in your mind. So notice that this thing here is the exact derivative of this. So you trying to integrate this is, is you trying to look for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will then give you this. Well, notice that this is the exact derivative of this. So if, if you were to make this to be your, your guess here, uh, the bubble, uh, one notch higher than this, that would be, that would be a half. So now if, if I, if I were to give you, if I were to give you a bubble to the power of a half and ask you to differentiate it, you, you, you would do this. The, this thing would go down. So, so that would be a half. The bubble stays intact. And then the power gets minus by one. So that would be negative a half, and then you times the derivative of the bubble itself. You would times times the derivative of the bubble itself. Now you're 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 trying to create this. So if you put if you put um if you put natural log into here, natural log into here. Now if you put natural log into the bubble, when you come to differentiate it, this will be natural log, and then and then this is the derivative of the bubble itself, which is one over x. So, so now notice that this one over x here is this thing here, and then to the power to the power of negative a half is this thing here. So, so now you just need to negate this. So, if, if you make if you make the, the the adjustment to your initial guess, you might put a two in here. Now, if, now if you differentiate this, it will then give you this thing here. So, to so learn to um, learn to try and integrate it just by glancing at it rather than using substitution. Um, well, anyway, um, integrate this. It will give you this. Well, this thing here is this thing here. Because look, uh, the bubble square root positive a half here. So that's the square root. And then you've got your two. You've got your two. Well, integrate this. It will give you this thing here. Now put a very, very big number into here. So when you, when you natural log a very, very big number, it's going to be a very, very big number. And then you square root a very, very big number. This whole thing here will be very, very big times two. Very, very big times two will be very, very big. So now put two in here. It will be, this here will be, natural log of two is a number. And then you, when you square root that number, you're going to get another, you're going to get another number. Times two, you're going to get another number. This thing here is going to be a finite number. This thing here is going to be very, very, very big. Take away a number. So, so overall it's going to be very, very big. So this thing here, Will be very very big, meaning it will diverge. It will diverge. So going back to our theorem, the theorem says that if this thing diverge, then this will diverge. If this thing here converge, this thing here will converge. Well, we've just established that this thing here will diverge. Which we, we've just established that. So therefore, this series itself will diverge. Okay.